Good evening guys, MC Procrastinator here for another 2 minute video as part of 2 minute series. If you don't know what 2 minute series is, check the link below and I'll tell you all about it. Right, so topic of today is how to get a really good deal on finance. Did you know you can actually negotiate finance? Most of you don't actually realize that. If you look at a previous video, I'll put the link in below, which is all about how to get the best deal on a motorcycle using cash or negotiate a discount on a motorcycle or car, specific times of the month that you buy, specific things to say, how you get there, etc, etc. Go and check out the video because this relates where we're going next. So. If you're not a finance customer, it's definitely worth listening to because these techniques that are used here will help you understand the whole buying process from start to finish. So let's just say we've, bought a ten, we've agreed with the salesman a $10,000 price of the vehicle. We've got in, we sat down to the finance person, taken all the details, etc., and he's just about to deliver us the price on that 10,000, what this is gonna cost us monthly. Okay, so Mr. Finance, how much is this bike gonna cost me over the next five years over every month? And he, let's say he turns around and says $300 a month, and that's for your 10,000 thing. The first thing you want to automatically say, oh, okay, well, you don't really know what to say because he's usually pretty quiet and, you know, he's waiting for you to go, yep, he's waiting for you to basically make an argument about it so that he can come back at you with some more things. And really what you need to just do is, oh, that's great. Yep, that's probably not what I was expecting, but can you tell me what the interest rate is on that? And now, whoa, he's going to go, oh, you're asking me for interest rate. A finance person hates you ask him for an interest rate. And what he may do is, well, you know, we can't really define an interest rate at the moment because we, we can't actually tell you because we don't know who we're gonna place you with. And that might be quite true, but he can certainly give you an, in, he can give you an indication of the interest rate based on the payment he just gave you. So that's a lie if he says that he can't because he actually can. He can say that it may change with the rate he's quoted you, but of course it can't. And then you can go, well, okay, so um, what is the interest rate? And he will go, um, let's say he says 8%, or 16% or 12%, okay? He may try and give you different figures, try and confuse you because really speaking, interest is split up into two different types, right? There's a flat rate interest, which is calculated every year, and that equates to your APR interest, that contributes to your APR interest, and your APR interest basically includes all your interests plus all the charges, okay? Now it doesn't include things like payment protection, etc., etc. So you have to remember that, okay? But really speaking, for your benefit, you just need to know APR. You just need to know all the costs with everything included. The charges for setting up the document, you will be amazed at what you actually get charged, okay? So let's just say he says now 16%. Right, rewind. What you need to have done before you go into dealer, which will really help you with the negotiating skills, is that you go online and you have a look at different finance packages that are available. One thing I would suggest not to do is put it on your credit card, because your credit card is one of the highest interest rates that you can actually pay, unless of course you have interest free, but just remember at some point that interest free will turn into something that's probably 20, 21%. Anyway, moving on, there's lots of different areas that you can lend money from. Typically with a bike, I would suggest a personal loan from either your bank or another organization that provides something similar. In motorcycle deals, they typically tend with things called a, a personal contract plan, a PCP, or a personal payment plan, PPP, or higher purchase, okay? But whichever one you really want about this, what you need to be clear cut on, and it will vary, and I'm not gonna go into too many details on this now, but we're gonna talk about HP, which is your standard, or HP or a personal loan tends to be the typical way that you borrow money on a motorcycle or, 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 or a car. So now we've gone back and we said, well, I did a bit of research, uh, Mr. Finance person, and on $10,000, I was actually gonna be paying $250 a month. Okay, and he's like, well, what rate was that? And then you tell him what rate it was, it was 10%. Uh, well, you know, I, and then he'll get like all flustered and he's blah, blah, blah. And then you say, well, I'll tell you what, can you do me a favor? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take away, can you print out all the information? Can you explain to me what each one of these elements are that are um, going into my finance? And then he'll go like payment protection, gap insurance, you know, redundancy cover, critical illness cover. And you're like, whoa, hold on a minute now. I didn't ask for any of these things. Oh, you know, we just put them in. No, no, no. I didn't ask for any of these things. Take them out. And then straight away, before you've even started negotiating, you've just got rid of the stuff they chuck in there, right? You're already down to $250, right? You've taken off a huge sum of money. You won't believe the cost of these actual aftermarket products. And the reason they put them in there is because the um, finance companies, one, make a lot of money, but the dealers make a huge amount of commission off them. So 
you've taken that out. Now, our interest rate's not gonna change because these products just get added on, but you pay more money back on top of the money you borrowed to get those things, so you've saved yourself a fortune before you even start. But now we really want to start negotiating. So turn around and say, well, okay, um, I'm not happy that you tried to add those on there. Um, what are my payments now? He says 250. Yeah, well, I'll be honest. I look at A, B, and C, and they were gonna charge me 225 or 210. And he might go, right, okay, let me see what I can work out for you. And he'll come back and say, right, I can't do it for 16%. So be careful, because he might come back with a payment, not the interest rate. And now you might go, oh, well, 225. 225 sounds great, I'll just accept that. But again, go, oh, that payment's great. So what interest rate is that now? And he might go, that's 12%. You know, and you're like, you're trying to get to 10%. It's like, oh, okay. So I'll go and take it from the bank then. Oh no, give me a sec. And I guarantee you, he'll probably pretty much either match it or maybe just a percent or so more, okay? Now, so that's what you need to do. So knowledge is power when it comes to these things. Really stick by your guns. Make sure you do a little bit of research before you go in and make sure you press ask, 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 and make sure they give you the information that you ask every single time so that you can make an educated choice on whether or not you're gonna use finance with a motorcycle dealer. So guys, hopefully that helps us. MC Procrastinator out.